there and a very, very good evening and welcome to the Planet Cruise TV show. My name's Sean Man. We are here every Tuesday at 8 o'clock with the most amazing cruise deals. And tonight, honestly, we've all been looking, we've all been booking, we've all been planning because we've got not, not five, not six, but seven amazing cruises for it. And there really is something for everybody. Um, now, Justin is back with us. Two weeks running. We, we, we I know. Are I making know. this a habit now. <laughs> Good to see nice you again. Justin, by the way, he's been presenting the show many, many years now with me, but you actually worked on the cruise ships for yes. a long time. Yes, yeah, six years. Six years. Six years at sea, and look what it does to you. Yeah, because <laughs> he's only 25, but you, you, you know, you parted hard, didn't you? I enjoyed myself. <laughs> I, no, but the thing is, when you do travel, you've got to go and see these places because, you know, sometimes you're there and it's just on the quayside. You've just got to push yourself and you've just got to go. And tonight, I'm telling you now, we've got some cruises that are once in a lifetime bucket list cruises. Well, we've got brand new ships. We've got the most amazing deal with P&O. Yeah. with Iona, their latest ship, and you're not going to believe the price. We've also got a very special guest, haven't we? Yes, we have Lou from Oceania, and one of my favourite guests, because she's just uh, such a great laugh. <laughs> and, and she's got the most, uh, not just an amazing price for the cruise, but an exceptional itinerary. Yeah, yeah, really different. If you, if you ever want to travel to Japan, it's one of the, the big hotspots at the moment. So Cuba and Japan are the two sort of places everyone who wants to go. Um, if you ever want to see the cherry blossoms, which is yes. ja Japan's national flower, this is actually in just at the tail end of March, going into April, when it could be in bloom. Okay. Um, so that is just a great opportunity. Um, also, if you love the 80s... I was just going to say, if you love the 80s, I was out clubbing in the 80s. We've got a special... Were you? Yeah. Um, what, what, what sort of outfit would you sort of... Well, like, What sort of garb? Was it, was it something like this? Well, like what? Like what? I don't know. You've not got some nasty... <laughs> no, that's not you. That is me. Is that Sean Wright? Is that a leatherette jacket? That I mean, leather jacket. That was me in the, in the late 80s. There you go. Yeah, there Lovely you go. That, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe they put that. Anyway, so we have got an, we've got an 80s cruise. Yeah. Um, also, if you love the West End, if you love musicals, yes. then we've got, we've got not one but two. We've actually got two theme cruises, one which is 80s music and the next one which is uh, show music. So if you like the, the, like the likes of Alfie Bow and Calabro, um, then you'll love that as well. Uh, we've also got a river cruise as well. And one that we have missed out, uh, a celebrity cruise. If I yes. told you it was yep. an 11 night and the price starts at 749, would you believe me? Well, I hope so, because it is, and that's coming later. But we are going to start off with... Oh, but before we go, for, I've got to say hello. I've got to give a shout-out to Sophia and Lola as well. So, hi, Sophia. Hi, Lola. If I didn't say hello to them, I'd never live it down. <laughs> Who are they? I can't say. Oh, I can't okay. say. Very, very important people. Very, okay. You know. You know. Um... Well, <laughs> I wonder, should we start all yeah, crits? I want to know who they are. Anyway, we're going to start with, um, and both of us, we've, we've been talking about this um, before the show. We cannot believe that this is their, the latest ship from P&O. Yeah. She's beautiful. Look at the price on the screen. If you book now, starting at 465. Yeah, but when you break that down, it's 69, 67, sorry, 69, 67 pounds it per is. person per night. And yeah, she hasn't even set sail yet. So this is, this is uh, she's just about to set sail. The newest ship in the, the P&O fleet. And this is a ship that's been a long time coming. Wow. Because P&O passengers, you know, I, I spent six years on board with P&O passengers. Uh, they're going to love this ship. It's for the British Ooh. market and, and who's built it as well. I'll and tell I'll you tell you what, you're going to love the food. Here's mm. a taster. Iona, it's very exciting. 17 restaurants, all those different cuisines. It's beautiful. The real beauty is not just what's on the plate. The real beauty is the choice. The glass house on board Iona. It's the place to be when you want to kick back and relax with a great plate of food and a glass of wine, of course. The West Indies chocolate tart, very indulgent and spicy. This is the kind of treat our guests would be able to get all day at Vistas. Iona, it's dining with a view, sailing up the fields, and there you are, you can almost touch them. How magical, how special, how beautiful. Yeah, the restaurants, the food is going to be outstanding. Mm. But do you know what I'm dying to see? Go on. I want to, I want to see the state rooms because there's interior ocean with balcony and there's one called conservatory mini suite. Mm. Do you want to take a look at it? I would love to. Oh, yes. 
guests have been at the heart of the new cabin designs for Iona, and it just feels really stylish and comfortable. I mean, look at this. I could stretch out like a prawn on a lettuce leaf. And the whole thing, well, it has an atmosphere of, well, it's kind of calm, sophisticated, and the architects have obviously been inspired by natural materials. Look at these beautifully appointed mirrors, such lovely detail. Ah, and this I love. This is a conservatory cabin. And look at it, it's a, it's a great big additional space between your cabin inside and the balcony outside. Beautiful art, breaking wave, but check this out. <laughs> Bifolds. And out onto the balcony, the most beautiful view of the fjords. They have never looked better. <sighs> right, I've got a thirst on. Time to hit the glass house. Oh my word, sorry, I, I want to book a conservative mini suite. Well, I, uh, I just got to point out that everything has been thought about on the Yeah, ship. you've been looking at this, haven't you? It's just, well, the thing is, it's a, it's a P and O sort of stalwart. Every, you, know, you know, when you go on the Oriana, on the Aurora, it was because those two ships were built put specifically for P and O. They weren't brought in from the Princess Margaret, uh, Princess Market. Um, and it yeah. was the it's male. Princess Margaret's got yeah, that's, to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, but the, sh she's actually going to be built. She's being built uh, by a Mayerwerft, which was the original shipbuilders for Oriana and Aurora. Uh, Jessica and Wiles, you, probably, you might not recognise the name, but they're an architecture practice that's worked on the Yas Hotel in Abu Dhabi and the W Hotel in London. All the um, interiors and hotel architecture has been done by Richmond International, uh, who are responsible for the Langham Hotel in London and Chicago, the Four Seasons in Moscow, and the Sandy Lane in Barbados. The interiors on their ship are to die for. It is just incredible. You know, we, we saw the cabins that I know that you're a big fan of the conservatory cabins. Well, I mean, I, yeah, I love outside space and that is outside space. It's that is absolutely that. premium. Amazing, yeah. because I love the doors folding back. But I've got to point out again, 67 pounds per person per night. This is unbelievable. And, and, and you saw the interior as well. They, you know, the interior staterooms, they are gorgeous. Uh, so, we think this is a ridiculous low price for such a beautiful brand new ship. Yep. And it's a lovely little itinerary, this one as well. Yeah, it's set out at Southampton. So for those of you that don't fly or you don't like to fly, then it's going to be perfect. Lovely relaxing day at sea to well, acclimatise yourself to the ship and just enjoy that wonderful interior architecture. Um, and then we're into Germany, we're into Hamburg. Um, you can go to the City Hall, you can go to the Reaper Barn, the Warehouse District, uh, go, to, go to the Ulster Lake and perhaps go on a little, uh, little cruise around there. Um, often ship spotters as well, you can see some ships that are being refitted in the dry dock in Hamburg. But great place, lovely memories there. Um, a relaxing day at sea and then we're into Rotterdam. Now, it's the largest port in Europe, very, very modern and you've got an intriguing sort of mix of new and old. Um, definitely recommend the Hague and Royal Delft uh, and you've got to go to, to the Tulip uh, Festival called the Kuchenhof, um, which is known as the Garden of Europe. It's absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. You've got an overnight on board here, so really take that opportunity to use the ship as a hotel, go on into town, enjoy some of the nightlife, come back on board, um, it's just a stone's throw away. Then we're off to Belgium, we're off to Bruges and the port of Zeebrugge. Uh, so from Zeebrugge, you transfer into Bruges, I'd highly recommend doing a uh, canal cruise. It's one of the best ways yeah. of seeing this place. Um, yeah, there's actually, just yeah. dozens, I think it's something like 124 different breweries in the local area. Uh, there's chocolate, and you just name any type of chocolate. I mean, you name it, they've got it. It's just absolutely amazing. Um, and there's some great historic stuff to do here as well. If you want to go to Flanders Fields, um, if you want to go to the Church of Our Lady as well, um, then there's plenty to see and do there. After that, it's back to Southampton. That tells off a seven-night cruise on one of the latest ships from p and I'm telling you now, if I wasn't working, I'd be on that ship. I would actually be sixty-seven pounds per night. I'm actually really tempted to book this one. It's a friend of I already have actually. So, uh, no tipping required, by the way. I forgot to mention that. And deposit starts from just a pound per person. Kids also sell from just a pound per person on selected departure dates. Um, you can upgrade to select fare to receive ten percent off past uh, for past P&O guests and five percent discount for new to P&O cruise guests as well. But that offer does end at the end of this month on the 29th of April. And I tell you, they differ slightly just depending on departure day. Uh, and I just want to share the prices because we've got interior, we've got ocean view, balcony. There's very little difference actually, you've probably noticed, between the ocean view and the balcony. And that wonderful 
conservative mini suite, I think that is really well priced, starting there at just over a thousand pounds there as well. You can see great prices for a family of four as well. Looking at the dates as well, some of them might actually include Christmas markets as well. So oh, ask yeah, your cruise yes, specialist when you would, call. Yeah. yeah, and the crew, I, I've actually been to Hamburg for the, the Christmas markets and it's absolutely stunning, really is. Where you've got the city town yeah, hall, yeah. they have all of the, the markets there, really worth going. I really fancy that one. Uh, anyway, I said we've got an amazing show. We've got Oceana coming up next, who I cruise with um, a couple of years ago now. My friends Hayley and Sean that work here have cruised twice and are planning their third cruise. This is an incredible luxury cruise unlike any other. And we've got a fabulous guest to tell us all about it. Lou is back. Hello. Hello. There. How we'll, are you? I'm very well, thank you. We always we love it when you're here, Lou. Yeah, oh, we do. Thank you. <laughs> and we love your brand and company. Well, what can I say? Well, it's you are a fabulous company to work for. We are for. talking absolute premium luxury, aren't we? Yeah, this is what you're paying for. You're paying for the smaller ships. You're paying for the service, the ambiance, the relaxation and uh, the destination on this occasion as well. Just uh, wonderful and, ships. And for anybody that loves food, I mean, you, you, you are known to have the finest food at sea, aren't you? Yeah, it's our strap line. We've won every food award um, in the UK this year, and um, we spend more money on food than most other cruise wow. lines, so we really deliver. And all your speciality restaurants are included as well. I was just well, going to ask, are so, they still included? Yeah, they're still included. Uh, you dine when you want in whatever restaurant you like. A table for two, never a problem. So it's all those little tiny details that are so special. And tonight you've brought us an itinerary that we've never seen before. Yeah, and no, we're really excited about this because um, we went on sale literally last Wednesday for this itinerary and we've already sold over 50 staterooms. Oh, straight away. So this is, um, this is a winner. Um, now, so I'm, I'm hogging the conversation. Well, yes, I, I was going to say one of, the, one of the things that I'm quite quite surprised at. Well, I shouldn't be surprised with, with Oceania, but a lot of cruise companies, when they refit their ships, okay, mm -hmm. they'll do just this sort of remedial. They'll just do the bars. They'll just do the restaurants. And I believe that, that Nautica, which is is the ship that we're featuring tonight, she, yep. she, under, she, she went under a little bit of work in 2014. Yep. And you're completely yeah. redoing her again. I mean, our revitalization program is just second to none. We are spending $200 million. These Sorry, ships, just, just say that again. Uh, $200 million uh, revitalizing oh. all four ships. We've, we, Insignia is already done. Um, Nautica's happening next May. But um, So when our views book tonight? They'll, they'll be going on her, they'll which be is being going, totally revitalised. Exactly, and we've wow. got all the pictures to show you. But what's so wonderful is that um, this um, revitalisation, it's going to make the ships literally better than brand new. Um, every single thing is changing on the ships. So uh, people love a ship this size, and we want to keep these ships in the fleet um, for the next 30 years, so we had to do this kind of makeover. I, um, I, I had the most amazing cruise, but I, I remember such a huge amount of space per passenger as well. There were never queues, yeah. it never felt crowded. And that's um, what, you, you know, the ambiance yeah. is just so oh. lovely. Well, let's, yeah, uh, let's, let's just give you a little taste, Lou. Just talk us through if you can. So our beautiful Nautica here has just 684 guests on board with 400 staff. There's no kids clubs, there's no photographers, it's a casually elegant dress code. You can see here some of the um, state rooms that have been revitalized, um, beautiful new carpet, soft furnishings, and um, it's gonna have a look of the sea. So lots of aquas, all these beautiful, subtle colors. You're never gonna have to line up. You can dine when you want. It's just pure luxury, and it's gonna have a really nice residential feel to it. So you're gonna feel like you're at home when you're on holiday. Yeah, that looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah. We've... Wow. And only you said it just over 600 passengers. Yeah, so 684 guests. Uh, the ship is 30,000 tonnes, so there's gonna be plenty of space here. You can see the new state rooms, all the dark wood so bins. So fresh, aren't they? Yeah, it's I very think it fresh. it works out 1.71 members of staff to each guest. Wow. Yeah, that's what, you know, and you know, you, this beautiful dining room there, the residential feel in all the lounges and the bars. Um, the biggest um, part of the revitalization is in the state rooms. We've actually ripped out the bathroom 
bathrooms. We've got beautiful marble bath bathrooms in there now. For me, 700 count Egyptian cotton, Villaro and Bosch China as well. It just, you know, it oozes goes on, quality. It is. The tranquility bed is just mm. um, something that you'll, you know, you won't ever get a better night's I, sleep. I in. think if you're looking to try that next level of cruising or you know, maybe you've got a special year, a special occasion. This is a once book time. And then the most incredible item. I know you're known for great destinations, but we are. this is exceptional, this one, isn't it? It is. Well, uh, you know, we've got um, actually three cruises that are doing the 10 day Japan round trips, but um, Planet Cruise have just put this incredible package together because if you're going to go to Japan, you've got to see Mount Fuji and um, they've put this fabulous well, tour well, together for to you. Just talk us through then, because obviously we fly to Tokyo, first of all, don't we? I'm right saying we're there for three nights. Yeah, in three a nights. Hotel. Uh, Tokyo is one of the greatest places that I've ever had the pleasure to travel to. It's just, you know, if you want to really be shocked and say, wow, it's a different place, it's a different world. It really is, but it's such a great place to be in as well. I really enjoy my time in Tokyo, but it's just where you start because you can then continue um, to Mount Fuji and Hakone with a bullet train journey included oh, as well. I've always wanted mm. to do that. Actually, yeah. you know, it's really strange. It, it, you do feel the movement. It's just, it, it's like being on a ship, actually. Wow. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. It's just this gentle sway. And for those of you who love engineering, and to see Mount Fuji is just absolutely breathtaking. Yeah. Really is was breathtaking. I mean, you know, it's, it's the highest mountain in Japan, uh, 3,776 meters above sea level. Um, and in the, the foothills, this is where the ancient samurai used to base their, their mountain training. Um, so you really are immersed in absolute history. You've got a day at leisure and then you go into Shimizu, um, which is one of the most scenic ports. It's absolutely stunning. Really, really is. Um, there's the S Polstering Plaza there, which is a four-story four shopping mall. If you do want to do a little bit of retail therapy, you can do. Um, and there's a seafood market as well. I hope you pronounce this, this correctly. It's the Kashi no Ichi market. And just take a look at the, uh, the, the pictures. It's just, it's just a walk through there. And I don't like see through, but I'd have to go there just to see the experience. Uh, there's also a sushi museum as well. Really? Yeah. yeah. So um, then we're off to Kobe. Now, Kobe, straight away, when you say Kobe, you think Kobe beef, you think of Wagyu. And here's a little thing Wagyu, I didn't even realise until uh, I started researching this. Wagyu is basically Japanese beef. So Wa stands for Japanese, and Gu stands for beef. Japanese beef. I honestly didn't know that. And it's this common misconception because everybody thinks that they're massaged and fed on beer and stuff like that. I think there's some guy in Wales that actually does this. Um, <laughs> but over, it, over in Japan, they don't do it. It's highly regarded one of the greatest delicacies out there as well. However, this particular port of Kobe has got the largest concentration of sake breweries. Fabulous. Perfect. Oh, well, now we're talking. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I'm going to teach you a little bit of Japanese. So if you, if you go to Japan on this cruise and you want to say cheers, you have to say, come by. Come by. Come by. Come by. You have to say it with a little bit of gusto. Come by. Come by. Come by. I'd be saying that a lot, <laughs> you can imagine. <laughs> oh, dear. This, this, also, dreams. because you're overnight here, you've got plenty of time. If you want to go to Kyoto, it's only 30 minutes by the bullet train. Also, Osaka as well, which mm. was where they shot a lot of the uh, Blade Runner film, the original. So if you want to see those, those beautiful sort of uh, alleys, then you can do down there. Um, then we're off to Hiroshima. Now, uh, of course, we go into this part of the world uh, I think if it's if it's on your bucket list, then this is a very poignant day. I'd highly recommend doing one of the tours. You can see there uh, the atomic bomb dome. Uh, there is the Peace Memorial Park and Museum as well. Um, so it just pays tribute. And again, it's, I, I think it's important to you know reflect on the past, but also the future because how they've rebuilt the city. Yeah. Look at yeah. how beautiful mm. this this city is. You got a relaxing day at sea, and they're off to Korea. Um, we're actually off to South Korea to Busan. And this is just, well, you've got the juxtaposition of high-rise towers and then Buddhist temples. Uh, you've got the Bermosa Temple, uh, you've got a fantastic fish market here, uh, the Jakal Chai, hopefully I've pronounced that correctly, and the Tondoza Temple as well, which is the temple without a Buddha. So uh, plenty to see and do that. Then we're off to Nagasaki. Now this, again, very poignant day, plenty uh, to see and do here if you want to go down the historic route. Um, and uh, there's also uh, an option uh, to go to a castle and village, which is just outside of the actual city itself, which is uh, a samurai village. Definitely. I have to go and see that. A samurai village? Definitely. This does um, look amazing. It is. It? it is absolutely it stunning. Really yeah, is. the pictures are just oh. bringing it to life as well. Thank you. Yeah. Um, 
Then our, right. our final port of call um, before the end, uh, and coming back to Tokyo, is Kagoshima. Um, and again, you've got such an incredible history here. Uh, if you love aircraft, there's, there's a comprehensive collection of aircraft, models and mementos, um, which go back to, to 1945 and the war. Um, but just really fantastic. If you're going this far and going this deep into a culture, you've got to do it properly. And to do it with Oceania in yeah. such luxury is, is just amazing. Now, you do have a final day at sea to really enjoy this beautiful ship for, for one last day and then back to Tokyo. That looked spectacular. Um, so just to remind you what's included, you have got the three nights day in Tokyo, the Mount Fuji experience day on the bullet train. Um, we also have that, um, that short excursion in Kobe as well, we've got to include that. And free Wi-Fi and a choice of either free drinks or up to $800 on board spend or excursions as well. I'd obviously choose the drinks, but um, you've got a choice there. And for Planet Cruise tonight on this show, we're going to give an exclusive free gratuities and $100 extra on board spend for Kevin. That is great. That's just for Planet Cruise yeah, that's tonight. Yeah, that's an exclusive. Wow. Yeah. And obviously return flights as well. Um, just one final thing I wanted to say. Um, you only need to pay a deposit, obviously, tonight. Uh, obviously, you've got a great choice of cabins at the moment. And you can, of course, pay in installments for Planet Cruise as well. Yeah, so fantastic. That looked amazing oh. i got to point out to see the cherry blossoms as well yes it's just and and this the, the actual date that you've got there the 28th of march yeah it's perfect you, you perfect, can't ever guarantee that no. when they actually go into bloom but the sort of the date range is within that perfect window God. and for japanese culture and society it's one of the biggest things to take a picnic rug out and have a picnic is that there's actually a japanese name for it that i've forgotten now but you, you sit underneath the cherry blossoms and it's just absolutely I stunning. I love that. Oh. Lou, thank you so much. Oh, I, thank you guys I, for bringing that to life because um, even I'm going to book it now. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say, one fun thing, don't do what Hayley and Sean, the two of our presenters, did. They went on two Oceania cruises and didn't get off the ships with that because you've got to get off to see all those beautiful sights oh, on that, that one, one, haven't you? For sure. You really do on that one. Lou, thank you so much. Oh, no, it's a pleasure. Thank um, you. Book, well, book tonight or just give us a call if you've got any questions. I know that's a big trip to plan and to book, but give us a call and we can talk you through in more detail. But I thought it was spectacular. Uh, now, we're going to move on to... Now, I, my eyes are not as good as they used to be, OK? Now I'm 50. Everything's going. But um, when I saw the price of this one, I actually, when I first saw it on my notes and it came through an email, I thought, that can't be right. Looked again, and it is. We have got an 11-night cruise with celebrity five-star modern luxury on the silhouette. 749 is the price on that lead date. Let's take you on board. Uh, so this is the, the beautiful celebrity silhouette. Um, this is modern luxury, five-star modern luxury, which is why you hardly ever see a price like this. It's just been reduced, to let you know. So it has just been reduced, so it's 749. Um, beautiful staterooms. So, where do you go for inside, outside? But also, everything is five states best. The Persian Garden, though, I've been there many, many times. The beautiful, tranquil areas such as the library, where you can just chill and relax. Everything is elegant. Um, the main dining is spectacular. There's also all the speciality restaurants on board. Huge selections of wines. I have worked my way through quite a few of those, Justin, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, I have, many of you know that I have cruised with Celebrity. I think it's about eight times now. And yes, they are known for their award-winning cuisine. Uh, we just saw Cuisine, one of their specialised restaurants. I love the entertainment. Massive shows. I know Celebrity spend a, a huge amount on new shows every single year. There's a martini bar. You'll have seen me there many, many times. But that is just one. You're giving that. yourself a reputation. Oh, well, I've already got one. It's too late, you know. Um, but the one thing I will say is if celebrity is normally out of your price range, tonight this has just been reduced and it's 749. And I tell you what, it's a perfect itinerary for the 13th of October. You know, we're yeah. going to get some lovely, lovely weather. I on, honestly, I cannot believe we don't see that price, price. I know. Per night. Did you work it out? What is £69 per person per night? For celebrity, and bear in mind, for those of you that are big celebrity fans, this is not the new ships. This is the classic range of a solstice classic yeah, yeah, which with the lawn club, and they're so well loved. And to get that modern luxury 
at that price. It I tell you what, normally if, happen. If, if there's there's viewers out and, and cruisers out there now that have been umming and ahhing, going, oh, one day, well, you know, when there's a deal on celebrity, we might go for it. Tonight's tonight. There isn't is it? no excuse because some of the brands that we bring you, it's still great value, but to get this at this price is absolutely un. Do you know what? I'm, I'm just looking at all the prices, even things like Aqua Class, yeah. the lead date 1749 for Aqua. Bear that mind, is amazing. Deposits from £1 per person, terms and conditions apply. Um, there's the ability to be able to book the extra night at the Holiday Inn as yeah. well. Um, the free upgrade from Ocean View to Balcony. All oh, of no. these things. This, this yeah. all, all I'm going to say is I don't think by this time next week there's going to be cabins available no. in this one. No, we get prices like this. But it has just been reduced. So anyway, let's talk to because we're just as everything cools down in the UK in October, we're going to head towards the heat. We've got a couple of days at sea. Just enjoy the beautiful celebrity silhouette. Um, but we're making our way up to the Azores, aren't we? Yeah. Just just before we start the itinerary, I've got to point out that this is only gone live today, and it's a limited time only. If you don't book this soon, it, it, it lasts until next Tuesday. But as I said. It's while cabins yeah. are available. They're going to fly, aren't they? We know That's they all I'm going to say. Yeah, anyway, don't, don't dilly dally on this one. Pick up the phone right now, seriously, because it will go. So um, we've had our two days at sea. We've had all of those beautiful luxury facilities that you get with celebrity, but we're making our way towards the heat in the Azores, aren't we? Yeah, Ponte Delgado. This is absolutely stunning. Portuguese beach, sort of actually, uh, background. It's it's quite rare in, on on an itinerary. It's usually when you do a transatlantic. Yes, it is. Just yeah, because they stop off for stores, they stop off for fuel as well. But it's absolutely stunning. I mean, you've got the volcanic craters there. You've actually got two, uh, one blue and one green, uh, which is the caldera of the the extinct volcanoes. Um, you've got hot springs there, you've got Furnace Lakes as well, which is 22 steaming hot springs in geysers, hot mud pools, just absolutely stunning. Uh, you've got the town of Nostra Park as well, and you've got the main town. I mean, I, I remember just as a crew member, just getting off the ship and stretching my legs, quite literally, um, uh, along the promenade. And it was absolutely stunning. It really is, really is fantastic. Then you've got a nice relaxing day at sea and went into, in, into one of my favourite ports, Madeira. Madeira, yeah. It's just great. Such a green, lush, fertile, uh, beautiful island. You've got the, f the fantastic flower markets. If you've never been there, and yes, this is me. You look at me, you don't think of flowers, do you? Um, but I absolutely love the flower markets in uh, in Madeira. You've got Blandies as well, which is one of the, the biggest producers of Madeira wine. Um, other other brands are available. You've got Madeira cake that you can buy there as well. Um, and but it's just, beautiful. I mean, I, I I love my gardening and the, yeah, the botanical life that is fantastic. And of course, and don't forget, you've got to go up the hill and get the basket, the wicker basket run just down, said, down the hill. I never told you. No, go on. I finally did it on my last No. Career. You have not seen it? Yes, I just, No. Yeah, I found it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um well it started to rain, so it was a bit like Brilliant, even better. Um Well, I'll put it this way, I'm glad I did it. And it was a lot of fun, but I was slightly scared as it started to get slippery and wet, but we were all fine and it was fun. It I was, was brilliant. Say, I've got pictures, got, I'll you, show you. you, I, you, to to show I, finally, me. I did it for you, I forgot to tell you. Now you've got it <laughs> you have got to do it. it See? Is, it is great. It, this it's the a tradition. tradition they're, they're, yeah, yeah there's the tradition they've got the wicker hats yeah. and they've got the white white chinos and the white shirts. They push you down the hill and guide you down. It, they don't just like no, push no, you. No, no, yeah, no, they guide you all the way down, but say it started to rain on mine. I was worried they'd slip and let go of me, but they didn't. Anyway, I'm gonna find the picture if you just did now keep okay. going uh, well, well whilst, you, whilst you're finding the picture we'll head off to Tenerife I mean this is this is classic holiday destination who, who hasn't been to Tenerife on their on their family holidays but you're getting chance to go in there for the day you've got Santa Cruz which is fantastic for your shopping you've got plenty of beaches there as well just to enjoy uh, the the uh, Canary in life it really is just just brilliant um, then we've got a relaxing day at sea we're heading over to Portugal and we're heading to Lisbon um, again, one of, one of my favourite ports. You've got the, the Lisbon Bridge there, or the 25th of April Bridge. And um, there is just so much to see and do. You've got several different districts. You've got the commercial district, you've got the bars and restaurants. Um, have a little bit of a stroll down. You've got to get a tram ride. Just please yeah. do remember to get a ticket because they are quite strict on uh, tickets over there. Um, some great handicrafts. Handy you've got the uh, Torre de Belém or the Belém Tower. Uh, which is great, the Monument of Discoveries as well, where all the explorers left from. Um, and the square, I mean this, I tell you, shopping, if you love shopping, uh, before some of the big Portuguese brands became popular, we used to go into Lisbon, it was everywhere, it was brilliant shopping, you just go in there, you know what I'm on about now. Yeah, yeah other yeah, brands yeah. are available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I can't fit into them anymore, um, but there we go. <laughs> and then you've got two 
final days at sea, and they will be amazing with Celebrity, and then back to Southampton. Now, I can honestly say, just been reduced. It is going to fly. I'm sure the phone lines are lighting up already. If you book an Ocean View, you'll get a free classic drinks package. That's worth a fortune for 11 nights, actually. Free gratuities. Hang on, this gets even better. Free gratuities and $200 on board spend for You're convincing yourself. <laughs> I'm thinking I could go in October. I've you got enough holiday. I, I have got enough holiday. We, there you go. No excuse. Do, it renews in April, so I've just got my new allowance. A free upgrade from Ocean View to Balcony. Deposit starting at a pound per person. And as Justin rightly said, you can add on a night at the Holiday Inn in Winchester uh, the night before you cruise from only £95 per person, and that would include breakfast, parking, and port transfers. Let me show the prices. Now, the inside staterooms are lovely with Celebrity, they really are. But if you go for the ocean view, you get an upgrade to the balcony on the lead date. And even if you've always fancied Aqua Class, where you've got obviously blue and Persian blue, gardens, yeah. yeah, access to Persian gardens, and that's the best price I've seen for many, many years, 1749. And the drinks package, they're reminding me that it's my favourite drinks package, it is very comprehensive, but it isn't just about alcohol, and I know I kind of joke about that, but it is about specialty coffees, teas, um, all your soft drinks, bottled water, selected spirits, really top um, brands and names, of course, as well, huge selection of wines, so that is included on Ocean View and above. That one is going to go so quickly, isn't it? Again, it was Did only set live. Any? It only went live this morning. Let me just check this. I've got yeah, it absolutely go on, right. Go. It went live this morning, and it's only until next Tuesday or earlier if we sell out. So, you know, again, whilst cabins are yeah. available. It's, it, it is a really good time to book a cruise right now, believe me. I've done this many, many years, 11 years now. It's a really good time right now. Right, very quickly, we've got all... A, a really uh, cheeky little deal that came in with uh, MSC. It is very cheeky. It's a hot pick, this yeah, one. Preziosa as well. She's a stunning ship, isn't Absolutely she? Absolutely beautiful. And um, heading over to Rotterdam, the fact that you know, you've just got seven nights on here encompassing uh, brew, so brilliant for, for just uh, sight, city sightseeing, easy for me to say. Rotterdam, Hamburg, and then back Do into you know, La Havre. Honestly, it's like we're rolling back the prices back to uh, 2000 mm -hmm. and, uh, and nine. When we, uh, when we first started, 2008 actually. But four, look, who, who isn't going to book at 449 for a whole week in September? On a, on a beautiful ship. I know, crazy. I'm definitely agreeing with the producer. She's saying, and we said, it's crazy. It is crazy. Well, that is the price tonight. The ID number, by the way, is 168165. Now, we talked about <laughs> rolling back the years. We've got an 80s cruise. And and a stages cruise. So we're going to start with the uh, the eighties. I was a teenager in the eighties, so I remember the eighties very well. You weren't. You, so you're quite a bit younger than me. So you you weren't no, quite a bit younger. I was born in nineteen eighty. I remember the just just coming out of the eighties. Were you only born in nineteen eighty? Yeah, all right. I, like I said, I spent six years at sea enjoying. So life. you're thirty eight now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, th no, thirty nine. Thirty nine. Thirty nine. That makes me feel old now. It's all right, one more year and you can take me on as a guest when you go on a saga cruise. That's true. But yeah. anyway, I, but I, loved it. I loved the 80s. Um, and this is all about 80s music on board. It's a three-night floating festival, throwback 80s. Um, now, I, I know many, many friends that have done this and they had the best time. Well, it's just fun. I mean, look, Tony Hadley. UB40. Pat, Pat Sharp. Oh, Pat Sharp. I'm there. Fun house. I love fun house. Just, I, I was singing it earlier on. And what was it? But we still didn't get to the bottom. What was the name of the two twins? It was, I think it was Martina and I can't remember oh, what the other one was. Know. But everything on the cruise is, is tailored towards the 80s. Yeah. So it's not just the bands. It's the music. It's the yeah. films. Everything. Honestly, my friends that have done this have said that, well, they've had the best time ever. Oh, now who, which band was he in? Do you remember? Brother Beyond. Yes, of course. The Harder I Try was their hit single. Hey, well, ah, Pat, Pat Sharp. Sharp. Oh, hang on, hang on, Pat. What have you done to your hair? What have you done to your hair? Pat, come on, don't let me down. I can't do that. I haven't got the <laughs> option, but Pat. Where's the locks gone? <laughs> no, so, so, I tell you what though, Sister Sledge is on board. Sister Sledge on as well. And this is two, two of the original sisters out of the four. Um, this is Daddy and Kim. And do you know, we were actually playing, I kid you not, somebody get the floor manager can vouch me on this one. We were in the green room, this was me and Lou and Kat who comes up from, from the office um, and we were all dancing to Sister Sledge. Uh, we are family. So we are family. Um, uh, what's it? Um, da -da -da -da. He's a grandest dancer. 
and I can't see any more of that. Bucks Fizz yeah, as well. Oh, the Fizz, we should say. Uh, the, yeah, and Cheryl Baker, Jay Aston, and Mike Nolan. They're all going to be there as well. Um, and then we've, we've also got the Magnets. Yep. And, and Tony Hadley. Tony Hadley, Do you know what? come I, on. I was listening to him only uh, actually today. Gold. What a voice he's got. Yeah. Hasn't he? Yeah. Amazing voice. Always believe. And <laughs> does anybody me. recognize this? Um, success of the 80s. That is me. So successful. I cannot. <laughs> that was me in the. Do you know? I was trying to look like really? Ross at that point. Yeah. Ross, I actually I was, just watched yeah. a documentary. Yeah. Recently. Really good. It's brilliant. So Go anyway, I, I, I might be on board, but I just won't look like that anymore. So that's Sean Ryan when he was there. Uh, I was about 18. Yeah, by, by the way, I just have to point out that Sean Ryan will not be appearing on stage. Um, but all of the other artists um, are, are billed. Um, so. <laughs> so, it's a, so it's all about the music, the 80s vibe. You're going to have the most incredible party. Yeah. But you also get a chance to, to visit Paris, don't you? From yes, yeah, you're going to go to La Havre. Do, do you know what? I'm telling you now, <laughs> there probably won't be anybody getting off the ship because the fact of the matter is everybody who has such a big night out on the ship, they'll be like, yeah, we'll just have a little bit of a wander around La Havre. Uh, but if you do want to go on into Paris, there is still some great things to do there. You know, if you look at the museums, you've got the Eiffel Tower there, you've got the Louvre, you've got the Arc, uh, Arc de Triomphe as well, Palace of Versailles, the Champs Elysees. So plenty to see and do there. But for me, it's just it's, all about the look, music. You're, you're gonna it's get a to weekend see. cruise just to indulge yeah. in 80s music. You're going to get to see loads and loads of concerts, basically. So uh, there's also free balcony upgrade and onboard gratuities. Uh, you can add on a deluxe drinks package from 149. Uh, brand new Axis to Sledge are going to be on there. Bootleg Blondie, UB40, Tony Hadley. I do have to point out that Sister Sledge that is two of the original members. Wow. It is the real Tony Hadley. Um, it is the real Pat Sharp. Pat Sharp, yeah. I'm so excited. Um, and it's all about, said, the ultimate 80s. You are going to have a ball on that one. You really are. But we also have, um, for those of you that may, may be, maybe you're not into the 80s, but you love musical theatre, we've got the stages coming up now. And this has got all the big Let's names. Get dramatic. Theatre, yes. Yeah, yeah. I love musicals. I love West End. And that's what this is all about, isn't it? Oh, I tell you what, when, again, it's coming from the same uh, production company. This is just a, a brilliant. Alfie Bow, Sheridan Smith, Calabro. Um, just really awesome wow. to have those big and, names. And more will be coming. Just oh, yeah. Now, but they've already been confirmed. Alfie Bow, wow. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. And I know our, our, um, our executive producer, Kat, she went on this last year, didn't she? Yes, and she, she said, she said amazing. she didn't know what Les Mis was until she came off the ship. I know. Can you hear the people sing? Was a revolution on board? Ah, Jean Valjean. I just said, was it, was it, was it Eponine? Was it, um, oh, oh yeah. Sorry. Oh, I do, do you know what? I no, I used to be into the, into, into the West End music. I've lost it all now. Oh, we'll get you back into it. it. But this should be the classics. That's yeah. the thing. I'd say just, you know, you will get some really big names here, but we've already had, you know, several confirmed, including Alfie Bad. And we take you over to Dublin on this one, don't we? Yeah. I think this, this again, we just have to point out, it's a four-day cruise. Yeah. This is a great... But it, it, it used, will it used all be, be a, about really being on the ship and listening to music, won't it? Yeah. Yeah, and, and, but I mean Dublin, well, I, I've never been to Dublin, I can't wait to go, it's, but I, I think I'm going to do it for my 40th, everybody's invited, as long as you buy me a pint of Guinness, pint of, buy, buy me a pint of the black stuff, uh, because this is just awesome to go over there, you can go and see the Guinness storehouse, um, <laughs> Dublin's actually got over a thousand pubs. Um, so yeah, down St James's Gate Brewery. I mean, that's just one of them. Uh, but then you got Dublin Castle. Uh, you got Trinity College as well. But I think you probably. Yeah. I just love the. You know, when they say you know the, the crack, just to get the the. Um, I can't remember the name of the drum now, but just to get that 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 Irish feel, and then to go back on I the ship and have a, a great musical theatre. I think that's going to be fabulous. I really do. So let's just show what's included. Um, and these do sell really quickly, just to let you know, always. So it is the ultimate musical theatre festival. Alfie Bow, Sheridan Smith, Calabra, but many more are going to be confirmed. Onboard gratuities included, and you can add on a deluxe drinks package from just £199 per person. But I've got to put you on the spot. What's your favourite West End musical song? Oh. Ah. Um, oh, God. I'm going to, I'm going to surprise That's you. It's a really hard one. Tell me on a Sunday and think of me. Yeah, yeah, Marty see? Webb. Yes. Yeah. Showing a different side. There you anyway. go. He's got a very gentle side to him, you know, just then. But, um, <laughs> yes. Show me that picture of you in the 80s again. 
<laughs> that was me looking butch. Anyway, um, <laughs> we've got we've got Princess Cruises put next to Bob the Sea Princess. Now, um, I was very lucky to cruise around New Zealand a couple of years ago, and it was honestly the, the most spectacular cruise. It was the best. Yeah. Um, You've got to, you know, if you think about New Zealand, the best way of seeing it, I think, is on a cruise. And yeah. This is with Princess well, as well. Well, certainly some of it because it's the fjord lands, but I've got to yeah. tell you now, this is a last minute edition. I think about 2 30 this afternoon, it actually came in when I had the phone call. This is it's just amazing. an amazing. Yeah, I mean, I've got a friend of mine that's just literally in Australia right now. A wonderful, wonderful country and a great cruise line to do it with because Princess, they know this territory and they do it so, so well. Um, ship wise, the Sea Princess. I know her very, very well. She's a lovely ship, great size. And again, the staff throughout the Princess fleet are just loyal. They're so, so loyal. So you probably, if you're Princess Cruisers, you'll probably see the same people again and again. And they, they do treat you like family. That's the great, the great yeah. thing. You've got all of the, the, the great facilities on board. Um, you've got Salty Dogs Gastro Pub and the Wheelhouse Bar, Sabatini's Italian Trattoria. Um, you've got the Sterling Steakhouse. You've got pizzerias. You've got just so much there and then you've got the lounges as well but it's the breathtaking views that you're going to be seeing in this part of the world that is just stunning it starts off with a three-night hotel stay in brisbane and brisbane we were talking about dublin we we're talking about the black stuff brisbane you cannot talk about brisbane without m m mentioning the castle main forex <laughs> again we talk about the 80s remember the, remember the advert yeah and uh, you can go to the brewery and ale house there and it's more than a brewery and, tour and we are there for we're there for three nights for three aren't nights we? and that's in yep. a four-star hotel now we do get things like the koala and river cruise included yeah that's all included ask your cruise specialist when you call up on this one but the port itself 26 miles of beaches you've got resorts restaurants shopping malls casinos golf courses i mean the gold coast is just yeah. absolutely stunning absolutely stunning uh, and there's, there's also the zoo as well. If you want to go to Steve Irwin's zoo, you can go to Steve Irwin's oh, zoo there okay, as well. Nice. So uh, that's nice. So that, you know, oh, by the way, your flights are included in this. Sometimes yes. we get asked. Flights are, you know, always included if you're planning cruise, generally speaking. So you've had your three nights in Brisbane in that amazing hotel, your Kuala and River Cruise. But then you've got a two week cruise with Princess. Uh, the first three days are at sea. And we're making our way to the Fjordland National Park, aren't we? Yeah, scenic, scenic cruising. cruising. It's just, I mean, this this is what you want oh, it's to amazing, do. Honestly. You know, if you if you've done the fjords in Norway, you've got to do this. Unfortunately, this is one of the the parts of the itinerary that I didn't get a chance to do. I've done the south coast of Australia, never got a chance to go down to New Zealand, but it just looks it, amazing. I honestly, I, I it's it's one of the few places I've ever visited that I thought I could live there. Yeah. Know. It's like, it's like the very best of the UK. <laughs> it is. Just sunny. But, well, better weather, less people. <laughs> Easy to, you know. <laughs> Have they got any shopping channels down in uh, New Zealand? <laughs> no, there isn't. Put it for a chance, sir. Yeah. <laughs> He's already looked into it. Anyway, in Australia, but I don't know. Let's uh, swiftly move on. Uh, we've got Dunedin. Uh, which is known as the Edinburgh of New Zealand. And, and quite literally, there's a statue of uh, Robbie Burns. Ah, that yes. was a really bad accent. And you know, one yeah. of the people at Planet it just, oh, she's Scottish as well. She's going she's gonna to go, don't do the Scottish accent. Um, it is amazing there. It really, really is. There's a kilt maker. There's a whiskey distillery as well. And, uh, you know, you might hear some bagpipes. So uh, just enjoy that one. Uh, then we're going off to Akaroa. Now, you've got to, you've got to ch take the chance to see one of the greatest scenic railways. When you book this cruise, you've got to book the tour on the Transalpine Express. It really is one of the highlights there. Uh, then we're off to Wellington. This is just peninsulas, just cliffside homes, Victorian buildings. Um, there's a, a real metropolis of buildings down here. But if you want to head out into the country, this is where they filmed Lord of the Rings. So, um, for those of you that uh, love that, that film franchise. We, we, we do too, it was great. Yeah, then we're off to Napia, and this, well, it's, you've got a Mediterranean climate, and you've got Golden Sand Beaches. It's just absolutely stunning. Hawke's Bay um, is one of the uh, sort of popular areas of this particular port, um, and uh, you'll just love that, absolutely love it. Then we're off to Taranga. This is kiwi fruit, avocados, orchards, just stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, about 90 minutes from the actual centre of the, the port itself, if you want to head out, and we were talking about geysers and mud pools earlier on, um, then you can go out on one of the tours there to the volcanic lakes, which is uh, Rainbow Springs. 
So definitely do that. Then we're into Auckland. So you've got to go and see the oh, New Zealand Sky Tower. Yeah. It's the tallest man-made structure in New Zealand in the summer, Southern Hemisphere as go. well. And uh, yeah, not for the faint of heart. It's got a transparent elevator with a glass-floored observation deck. Whoa. I am in there. I love it. I did love Auckland. You loved it? Oh, yeah. Was it because of the wines? No. The Rieslings, the Savignon Blancs, the Pinot Noirs. There's actually some good vineyard tours yeah. available yeah. on this particular yeah. port. Uh, you got three days at sea, and then you're back into Brisbane and flying back to the UK, yeah. and that rounds your 19, 19 night trip. And all of that for just two, one, four nights. So you do get the three night stay in the four star hotel in Brisbane. You've got the Kuala and River Cruise tour, and 40 nights on board this immaculate ship, the Sea Princess with Princess Cruise. You're going to have cruise with Princess, uh, and they are really well, but incredible in terms of service food. And uh, very much, uh, I, you know, I, I think it would be very hard. You know, I couldn't imagine anybody being disappointed with Princess because their standards are so high. I just realised I actually worked on that ship. Really? <laughs> yeah, because that, yeah, because Adonia went back to Sea Princess. She was Sea Princess. Oh. Then she came back. Was that Oceana? Oh, it was definitely one of them. Wow, there just you go. Just realised that. Cabin four three three two. Oh, there you go. Uh, that is an amazing deal, isn't it? Now we've got one final cruise and um, mix it up. Well, it's a river cruise, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And we, river cruises, they're becoming more and more popular every week, aren't they? I was going to say, it's one of the biggest um, biggest parts of the market when it comes to cruising, yeah. river cruising. And um, with Emerald, it is really good. And the fact that you're seeing some of the best parts of the Douro, then you'll love this. Look at the ship. She's absolutely oh. stunning. For those of you that don't like crowds, you like small, intimate, um, this is definitely the, the one to go for. She's absolutely stunning. You've got 112... Um, passengers at capacity yeah 56 cabins 37 crew that gives you a crew to guest ratio of one to three wow it is just and, and, and if you've already recognized the ship she was seen on channel five's cruising with jane mcdonald of course wasn't she yes, yes. good friend of yours i understand <laughs> no, i do like her though there you go jane if you're watching you got the biggest fan here and to be fair me as well definitely um but i do watch the show yeah yeah but no i don't know her I don't know her either. No. I'd love to. I'd love to go out for a drink with Jane. I bet she'd be a right laugh. I bet she would. I tell you. Anyway, she was on the bottom. Of the Let's just look though, Justin, because this again, the standard is incredible, isn't it? Yeah, and you know these ships are designed and built for the actual rivers that they go on. And with this, you know, you're getting tours through the Douro Valley. You got tours of Salamanca, excursions to museums, a uh, city tour of Porto as well. 19 meals. So you got your breakfast, your lunches, your dinners. Um, it's absolutely stunning. Anyway, let's let's start off in Porto, and this is where you're overnight on board. You'll basically be met at the airport and transferred to the ship, and your cruise director will actually conduct a port talk to review the activities and the itinerary for the days ahead. Now, bear in mind, all of this is included. So if you if you really like to immerse yourself and be led and always be active, you'll love this cruise. Um, first first actual port is Pinhal. And this is an overnight on board. And this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. You're going to be sailing through um, uh, the vineyards and small farms. And in the afternoon, the cruise director actually hosts um, a showcase of wine culture for that particular region. Oh, so you nice. really are, you yeah. know, it's, it's, it's pairing it up with the scenery that's going past you. Very nice. All of these lounges, you know, it's floor to, si floor to ceiling glass that you can see out, fantastic views and vistas. And when you actually arrive in the, the actual village itself, um, you get chance to taste some of the, the world's best ports, really is. Um, the, the captain uh, has got a, a welcome dinner and cocktail reception, particularly that night. Um, there's cooking demonstrations on board, and there's also a yoga lesson on that day as well. Uh, then we're off to Vega Tetaron, and this you go through the beautiful Quinta Vineyards, which is the heart of the Douro Valley. Um, you get um, uh, an opportunity, if you want to do something alternatively, to do something called Emerald Active, which is a walking tour through the vineyards. So guided walk through the vineyards. If you want to stay on board, you've even got a cocktail lesson on board oh, as well. Very nice. Then we're off to Salamanca, which is founded in the Roman times. Um, just one of, the, one of the most beautiful places. It's actually got one of the oldest universities in Europe and really is. It's the heart of, of Spanish language. Um, so quite, a, quite a, a vibrant and lively. It's a big student population here, so it's very youthful. Um, you actually board in the coach and you're doing a full day um, and you get a guided walking tour passing through the grand squares and the medieval structures. You get a chance to have a look at all of the wonderful buzzing bars and restaurants um, and that evening you have some local entertainment on board. 
Um, then we're off to Pasino, and this is where you get a chance to go to the Valley Museum, uh, which is part of El Emerald Active. Um, there's, there's actually a, an opportunity to do a canoe tour here as well, so if you do want to get active with, with that, then you can do. Um, on this particular day, um, you get a chance to either do the canoeing, yoga lesson on board, and the evening, you get chance to hi have a, a dinner which is hosted at traditional rural wine estate in the Ragua area. So, uh, or when I say Ragua, Hegua, if you want to produce it correctly. Hegua. Hegua. Next port of call, um, you're going to go to the village of Lumego, which is just so picturesque. You've got the Ladies of Our Remedies Sanctuary here. Um, there's there's a, a walking tour um, that's available, so you can walk up the stairs of the sanctuary. There's a yoga lesson on board in the day. There's mosaic tile painting lessons on board as well. And if you want to do something, this is the, one of the only things that is an extra expense, you can vis visit the Mateus Manor House, you know, the Mateus Rosé. Um, if you want to go there, there's that just an, ex uh, an extra charge. I, I'll the, do it. All the everything else, yeah, everything else included. Then we're back into Porto, which is overnight on board. And again, there's an active, uh, a guided active walking tour, or there's also um, uh, an optional, which is an extra expense, uh, visit to a local village as well. But apart from those two optional extras, everything else is included. You've got your house wine, beers, and soft drinks with all of your meals, and all of those excursions, apart from the two mentioned, all included. And you'll even get, uh, if you look tight, 250 euros on board spend per cabin. You're going to get free Wi Fi. And tonight, we always like to bring exclusives. A hundred pounds per person off. The savings are included in the price show, so we always try and bring you, you know, extra savings, extra deals. And tonight you will get that extra one hundred pounds off per person. Price wise, we've got lots of um, different options available here, from the river view to the suite and the single prices as well. But you can say some really, you know, uh, really good prices. That I will be honest, because obviously, you know, the, the ships are smaller. How many passengers did you say, Justine? Uh, 112, I think. 112, sorry. 112? Anyway, <laughs> just over 100. So all I'm going to say is, um, cabins do go very, very fast. So if you've seen a date that you like and a price that you like, try and give us a call tonight. 0808 250 2662. Um, you know, for once we're slightly ahead of time, Justine. Are we? We are. We can give you a recap. And we don't have to speak really fast tonight. <laughs> <sighs> but... It has been, hasn't been an amazing show. And honestly, and I, I have presented the show, say, 11 years. The prices we're seeing right now are some of the best we've seen in years. You know, there's never been a better time to book a cruise. Now, this, I think, to get a brand new ship with P&O at a price starting at 465 is incredible. Um, you saw the ship earlier, the Iona. She is spectacular. No tipping required either. And deposits starting at just a pound per person. Kids can also sell for a pound per person on selected departure dates. And um, don't forget, you can upgrade to select fare to receive an extra 10% off for past p &O guests and 5% discount for new to p &O cruises guests as well. That offer does end on the 29th of April. Great, I like to about the... Um, I was going to say about the Christmas sit. markets. Oh, yes. Because bear, bear in mind, 12th of December in Hamburg, and I would have thought probably Rotterdam as well, um, you, you're going to have an opportunity to see the, oh, Definitely in Hamburg. I mean, the, si the City Hall, they have the whole town square, all Christmas markets. Yeah. So you walk through Hamburg, it's absolutely that, stunning. I love that conservative mini suite as well, remember, starting at just over £1,000. That was great. Uh, then what did you have? Oh, it was uh, Oceania. Link, of course. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this, this, is, this is what a lot of people in the industry aspire to. It's, you know, definitely, you, you've been on oh, there. And, and, yeah. and the amount of money they're spending on the ships in their re revitalization program is unbelievable. But it's where you're going. If you want to see the cherry blossom, in Japan, the national flower, um, and again, this date, the 28th of March, it's the end of March going into April that the cherry blossoms come into uh, bloom. Nice. So, great opportunity. Forget that, if it, even if it wasn't that time of the year, you've got Mount Fuji, you've got the uh, bullet chain uh, excursion as well. All of that included with free Wi-Fi, um, or if you want to choose the drinks, or if you want to choose the $800 onboard spend, or excursions. There is just so much... Please, with that price, if you're thinking, shall I, shan't I, give the guys a call now and let them talk you yeah. through. We didn't get a chance, even, even with eight or ten minutes, you know, let them talk you through exactly what your tour is going to be and what your cruise is going to be like, because that one is really something special. And don't forget, exclusive to Planet Cruise, the free gratuities, they're worth a lot of money over there, mm. you know, length um, uh, of cruise like that, and $100 extra dollars on board spend as well. Then we saw... 
a price that we never ever see with celebrity, not for an 11 night cruise I, on board the Sub Silhouette. This has just been reduced. Um, we know what happens when, when, a, when a deal becomes live like this, cabins start to fill and then very often prices then start to rise again. So yeah. if you want to get this at 749, I would honestly urgently book tonight. That's the, ridiculous. The, the, the deal is until Tuesday yeah. next week. But the expectation is that we won't have cabins by that time. No, so imagine. first come, first serve, whilst, you know, uh, whilst cabins are available. Uh, we should say that's for the inside, which is beautiful at 749. If you go for the ocean view and above, you get the free classic drinks package. You'll also get free gratuities and an extra $200 on the spend. Again, for ocean view, so you get loads of extras there. And uh, if you go for the ocean view on the 13th of October, you'll actually get a balcony for that price. So, Remember, the balcony on the 13th of October, I believe, was 1449 with everything included. That is incredible. And deposit starting from just a pound per person. Then we had, oh, we went back to the 80s, didn't we? Back to the 80s, yeah, with Sister Stage, two of the original members. And uh, don't forget, you've also got Tony Hadley on board, UB40, Pat Sharp as oh, well. Yeah. Didn't make it onto the, uh, the list there, but don't, don't you worry, Pat Sharp's going to be on board. I just got into the cure recently. Oh, I used to love the cure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, just just throwing back to the 80s there. Yeah. Um, but it is just great. You get also a day in port in La Havre. So if you want to pop into Paris uh, and do some sightseeing there. But I just enjoy yourself because the whole cruise is going it's to be tailored towards 80s music, 80s films, 80s culture. It's going to be a big 80s party, that one. And then also with floating festivals, if you love your musical theatre, then this is a great one. It's called Stages. Um, some friends of mine did it last year, absolutely loved it. I've been through a few of them myself. <laughs> and you've got Alfie Bow on there, Sheldon Smith. Sheldon Smith, yeah. she's like one of the biggest names at the moment. I know, I, I know Alfie Bow is as well. well but... Yeah, but there's going to be many more, I believe, as well. Um, you've got onboard gratuities included, you can have some drinks from just £199 per person. But that, when you think what you pay for one West End I was End just going to say, what would four nights in a London hotel in the West End with four nights at a uh, top theatre? Oh, you'd be talking thousands of them, wouldn't you? Yeah. Uh, any, anyway, we're nearly out of time. We then had Princess, didn't we? Yes. <gasps> yeah, 99 New Zealand round trip from Brisbane uh, with that stay there. Again, when you break this down, you've got your hotel stay, you've got your Kuala River cruise, 40 nights on board the Sea Princess, incredible price of 2149. And then last, but by no means least, we... We had our river one river cruise tonight, didn't we? Yeah, Spain and Portugal, the seats was the Duro. Uh, this is just great. You may have seen this on Cruising with Jane McDonald. You got all of your wines, beers, soft drinks with meals, all of your excursions and gratuities included as well. 250 euros on board spending per cabin and free Wi-Fi as well. And yeah. it's an exclusive 100 pounds per person off. Uh, that's all of the savings included in the price of show. It, it has, I'll say again, I don't think it's ever been a better time to book a cruise. Not, you know, say, when I look at prices over the past several years, they're really good at the moment. Uh, now, next week, we have got a Norwegian cruise line, an NCL takeover show with spectacular exclusive deals. And uh, I would hate you to miss that. So it's a takeover show with NCL, Norwegian cruise line, next week. When are you back, Justin? I was just trying to look. I'm Get your diary. Oh, it's... <laughs> I got me diary. I don't know. Whenever I'm free, darling. <laughs> Uh, I think, is it Glenn with us next week? Yes. I think it's Glenn with us yeah. next week. We'll see you soon. Justin, it's been lovely, though. Absolute pleasure. Love the last two weeks. Yep. We will see you soon. Uh, and I'll see you next Tuesday with NCL here on Planet Cruise. Hiya. Thanks for watching the video. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right hand side. It'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.